This year's spate of mass shootings has had a direct effect on budget planning in Miami-Dade County. The mayor's proposed spending plan for next year directs a third of the budget to public safety. Local 10's Glenna Milberg shows us what to expect. In the annual number crunching and pie charting of a county budget plan, this time the focus is this, post Parkland public safety. It will not be necessary to increase the property tax rate in order to support this service at this time. A $7.8 billion plan funds countywide operations and services, but does juggle money to meet the part of the state's new Marjorie Stoneman Douglas safety law that mandates an armed officer in every single school by next month. That new state law is all about safety inside schools. Well, the mayor's budget plan takes it out too. It focuses on enhancing public safety countywide. And so the public safety plan launches a long term beefing up the ranks and the resources for risk and threat assessments paid for at first with overtime and reserves and nine new response teams deployed throughout the county whose one assignment every day will be responding to an active shooter. We don't want to utilize them. The best story is that five years down the line, somebody challenges us and says, wow, what a waste of money. You guys never even use these personnel. Well, I say to them, no, it's worth every single penny. The mayor's budget, public safety and otherwise, now heads to the 13 county commissioners who have to approve it. I'm Glenna Milberg, Local 10 News.